Axiom Pictures Limited celebrates Reggae Month 2023. To kick things off, we start with a replay of an interview with the legendary Leroy Siblis. My name is Leroy Epton Siblis, really Leroy Anthony Siblis is on my breast certificate. Sweet, sweet. Tell me about yourself. Yes. Yeah, um, born in Trenchtown, um, went to Kingston Senior School, living Kingston Senior. I started welding. My mom took me to, to um, as an apprentice to learn arc welding. That's what I started out doing. I did about a year and a half on that. You know, while I was doing that, I was always singing. I had this special gift for cre creating music. You know, and um, didn't even realize that until I went to Studio One. You know, and um, I'm I'm very glad and and I'm, I'm very grateful. To, you know, to be established as one of the all-around musician and uh, you know, of the time. Yeah, um, bass lines. I I I I played songs for like Dennis Brown, his very first album at Studio One. You know, to mention uh, uh, some of the people, John Holt. Studio One, but when you mention Studio One music, I am in there like 50, 60, 70 percent or more, you know, with, with, the, with the stuff that I used to do. I used to um, arrange harmonies after we, we would create the music. On Sundays, I was given the, 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 the role of, of, um, of, of auditioning new artists. So I was in there every aspect of the music. You know, all of those top songs of Studio Ones, in most of them, I am involved playing bass okay. and arranging. Great. Orange section. One of the greatest singles that we that I have established that other singers have, have um, like the Abyssinians, Satamasa Ghana, mm -hmm. you know, which I, I, I um, a lot of people see as one of as, as one of um, some people call it the reggae anthem. The the past the Dutchy. That's a song that I I created myself originally. It was an instrumental song that the Mighty Diamonds had put lyrics to it. Yes. I call it the 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 Kochi. The the the, the Kochi, yes. Kochi. The, after many many years, the the musical youths in England uh -huh. made that song go. Um, billboard, billboard with so it was Dutchy. Dutchy. So who who sang the Dutchy part? The the the, the, the guys, the little kids from England. Oh, okay. They, they couldn't sing about Kutchy, <laughs> yes. you know, because they're kids. Yes. So they had to sing about the Dutchy, you know, <laughs> which is Dutchy is like a pot. Is what yes. we might not know, uh -huh. like a Jamaican vessel food. Yes, yes. Vessel. Pass the Kutchy from the left hand side. Pass the Kutchy from the left hand side. It have a boat. All right, so was it that song that put the F-tones in the swallet? No. What the song that made us popular was a song called Fatty Fatty. Yes. Yes. Fat girl, fat girl tonight. That, that was a song that played on the radio for like about two weeks. And, we, and back then we had one radio station, it was called the Radio Fusion. This was, a, this was like a cable network that we had our first cable network. The, the song was released there, it played for two weeks on the radio and um, they, they said it was, they, they, they banned it, said it was too, um, the, the lyrics contents, you know, oh, okay. yeah, at that time. Because in this time, to what's playing now, there was nothing back then, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but, um, you know but back then we had a lot of jukeboxes yes. because music was not as established as it is now. Right. And all these equipments and things that we have now, all these great sound system, even um, even cassette machines and all them things weren't then, right. were, were there then. Exactly. You know, but what we had, you know, to to make up for all of that was jukeboxes. We had a lot of bars which we still have, and if you check it even today, you know. Bars are very 
popular yes. in Kingston. Yes, yes. You know, so we had a lot of um, bars in, back then and every bar had a jukebox. Mm -hmm. So this, this song was popular, got, pop, got really popular. We call really? the jukeboxes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. One well, of the furthest places I have been is like, like Japan. Yes. You know, and um, it was a great place to be. I, I, I've been there. I, I've gone to Japan many, many times before. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, and um, I love the culture. I love the people there, and they love the music. Yes. I, I was very surprised when I went there for the first time to see so much Rasta. Japanese Rasta men yeah. in Japan with their long dreads and their beaver hats because back then beaver was a thing for Rasta man. You, yes. know? you know, if you remember Hurley Gregory Isaacs in his beaver hats, you know, I if I was Rasta man back then, I'm still is a Rasta man, but yeah. without all of that dreadlocks. Okay. And if you see some of my 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 my, my early um, pictures, pictures yes. you can see me with my beaver too, you know. Well, it was not too rusty if you never have your beaver, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So fast forward to today. Yes. I know that you are still involved in music. You are oh, producing yes. and you are you have a single. Yes, but right now. Yeah. Uh, before you yes. before you go yes, before right. we go into yeah. that, yes. reggae. Uh, we see that reggae is more celebrated now. We see the government. Yes. Some years ago, yes. they come and say yes, we are doing this reggae month. We yes. see Jaria and other companies are taking on yeah, reggae. Late, it, it's late, but it's better late than never. You know yes. what I was saying? Because um. If if Jamaican if Jamaica Jamaican governments yes. you know, not government, governments. You know? Yeah, we have a plural on that because that one government yeah. we have here, you know? So we can put it on no one person. If we if they had the interest with it for the music back then, it would have made the, the musicians and the, the singers uh, what what we, 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 we did would have been more profitable profitable and more recognized yes. you know what I'm saying yeah we wouldn't have gone through sorry we wouldn't have gone through all of you know what happened to what have happened to us yes. you know because of lack of um, knowledge of the business for one thing and um, and, 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 and presentations yes. you know so you know we, we, we are really grateful for for what is, what is happening now you know because this music should have been recognized no. long, long time ago. Yes. So what are you working on now? I, at my age, just did a single. It's a James Brown single called Try Me. And um, it was done so well, I, I can't imagine, because um, right now it's, it's, it's sitting on a number one chart in, in in, in, in um, Miami and, and New York on a special um, musical reggae chart, you know, you know, Clinton Lindsay's musical chart, and I'm very grateful for that. Okay, you, know. you want to give us a piece of it? Uh, yeah, sure. It's like, try me, try me. Darling, tell me I need you. Try me. Try me. And your love will always be true. Oh, I need you. We thank you so much for speaking with us today. It's my pleasure. Great job, Mr. Silvers. Try me. Try.